A local leader of the Women's Center for Advancement is facing allegations of racism and a group of staffers is calling for her to resign. 3 News Now investigator Jeff Van Sant has the story. A group of staffers at the Women's Center for Advancement is calling on the president and CEO to resign over allegations of racism. The WCA is headquartered in Midtown. It's an organization that helps victims of domestic violence. The staffers accusing the president and CEO formed a group called the Call to Action Team. The group says they demand the resignation of Amy Richardson, the CEO and president. 3 News Now interviewed Richardson back in April about domestic violence during the COVID-19 pandemic. The group says Richardson discriminated against a black male employee. They refused an on-camera interview, but sent out this release that includes details of the alleged discrimination. In it, the group writes, she convinced the board that he was loud, possibly dangerous, and aggressive to her physical and mental well-being. It also says she didn't feel safe at home because he is former law enforcement. According to the WCA, Richardson is on paid administrative leave. We found that her bio on the WCA website is no longer there. On the WCA Facebook page, the center put out a statement saying, we are deeply saddened by the allegations of racial inequality made by a group of WCA employees. The BOD is engaging experts to thoroughly review the situation and ensure the stability of the organization. We also reached out to Richardson, but haven't heard back. The call to action team also provided a list of demands on changes to the organization, including more education on racial issues. Three News Now investigators will continue to follow any developments and bring you the very latest information. Jeff Van Sant, 3 News Now. The WCA said in a statement posted on Facebook that board member Yvonne Sosa was elected board chair and serving as interim CEO. The group of 24 employees is also calling on the resignation of all but three board members. For more on this story and all our investigative team stories, go to our website, 3newsnow.com. If you have a story for the investigators, email it to investigate at 3newsnow.com.